Good morning, everyone. I am again working with, or I was going to call her every grandchild of who she is. <laughs> I'm working with Brenna. She's the oldest one. So I'm kind of, she's, and she's the first grandchild. There's more pictures of her than anybody else. But I'm trying to get some of them done. And I'm, I've really been sorting through them because sometimes I would take, you know, I don't know, 20 pictures of the same event and so I'm just kind of you know sorting through them and stuff so anyhow I've got this picture of her and my husband and they were like both these girls the two oldest grandkids um, they are just crazy about him and especially when they were little I mean it's like there was one time when her sister was um, they have a sectional they had a sectional when she was little I think they still have a sectional anyhow um, she was pretending like she was falling into the sectional and she goes help me I'm falling and I can't get out and I said oh I'm coming to save you and she goes not you grandma grandpa <laughs> so he's always just been the best and um, so I'm going to call it Best Buds. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put the title yet. But I'm going to put this first picture here. And this I made into a 5 by 7 And this was back when you, um, you know, you had to get them done like at Walmart because you were running out of um, space on your scan disc. So anyhow, it's like I'm going to put this on here. And it's going to be a two-pager because it's like if I had just tried to stick one on there or all three of them on there, it's just like too crowded. And so um, I'm using this Mente paper and it's called Childhood. And um, it's just such a beautiful paper. So, um, and I forget what year it's from. And I left the branding strip. It's, it's probably like 2019, I'm thinking. Okay, so... I'm going to start by sticking this on here. Oh, and it looks like this picture is from, no, it can't be. It says 2009, and she was born in 2005. So I'm thinking it was probably, I think she's like a year and a half here. And I think this is fall from the way that they're dressed. And I think I have pictures of them. Um, he's out burning some stuff in the garden and she was just having a blast hanging out with him. <laughs> so I'm going to, I think I'm going to glue them both down before um, I start the other one. Here, it's like he always had like, like little um, kind of um, toys in his desk and like he had like those little bouncy balls and it's probably like he probably picked them up when the kids had them and stuff and, and then they just never left his desk is what I think. But, um, so anyhow, the kids would get in there, and he has some little tiny cars, and I had collected some little tiny cars and put them in there, too, and, um, anyhow, they would play little cars, and I had a vinyl for them, and I drew, made them a little road, and they, they loved to play that, or she loved it, and he acted like he loved it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he did, because he's just like a big kid. Okay, I'm going to put that, I think, about there. And, you know, I usually like to mat pictures, but again, I am not matting them just because I don't want to cover the paper. <laughs> so, that's how I work things out. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to put this up just, I'm going to let them overlap just a little bit. But I love how she's like, um, I think he was saying, oh, do you want these? And maybe he went like this. Or maybe he said, what's in my hand? And she was like just going to get whatever it was in his hand. But um, she loved playing with the bouncy balls. They were like little super balls, whatever they were called. And, um, and then the little cars. So it'll be like this, but I'm just going to work on the one first. So... Um, I've got two, they look like beach balls, but I'm just going to pretend they're bouncy balls. And then I've got little books 
Oh, I think this is, I think this is actually for the other page. I'm going to do everything backwards today. <laughs> so there's a little cat back here. So I'm going to put this little cat here. So it's just going to be on top of the flowers, which is okay. Just because I want, since he's hidden back here, well, I guess he could still be hidden because that's kind of cute if he's po peeking out. And maybe I could put him up a little higher so he's not covering the flowers all the way. Let me see how much I could do because um, I don't want to see the other him. But I, that's cute where he's hanging out there. So I think maybe I'll do that. he just kind of looks like he's peeking out and you know that's always a fun game that the kids like to play so I'm gonna put that there and I gotta remember what is for this page <laughs> okay this is a bigger pencil holder and I think I'm gonna stick that there and where is my dimensionals Oh, they're there. They were almost in front of my nose. Okay, so I'm gonna put that where it's just popped up a little. And I'm gonna have to cut one in half or a couple. The worst part about cutting them in half, then eventually I'm gonna have to clean my scissors again. I hate that part. <laughs> Even though it's like I sure like them when they're clean, so I just do it. Okay. I think that should do it. Get my little paper tray. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop this right here over the other one to give us a little bit of dimension. And then um, this little book here is tucked underneath, so I'm gonna put that over top. Because we always like to read books. I just had some pop-up books for them and they love that. So we'd always read the pop-up books. Whoops. Totally went off there. Still one there. Oh, and did I say it was a minty paper? Or Probably everybody knows. Because, <laughs> I don't know, probably half the time I use mint tape paper. I don't know, maybe not that much. But it is one of my favorites. Maybe one third. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that there. Another little dimension. And I think that's all I have for this one. I wanted to put a one of those banners here, but if I cover that one up, it's just not quite the same. Where is that one I had? Okay. I think this one's this one's the right size. Hold on a minute. Okay, I just realized I could cut the alphabet or the blocks out of here, so I went ahead and do that. Did that. Went ahead and do that. <laughs> Uh, believe me, English is my first language. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't act like it. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put this up on dimensionals too. I'm going to have to go buy some dimensionals. These are my favorite. I think I have some other ones, but they're like so hard to get the little back off. And it's like, I think I would just... I don't know. It's tough using that one. 
Okay. Okay, so I can put that over that. Because that's what I wanted to do. I just thought, oh, I don't have anything to put on there. I didn't even see those blocks. Okay, I think that's the spot. Yeah, perfect. Okay, if it was up any higher, then I was in trouble. Okay, so that's it with the exception of the enamel dots. So I'm going to go to the next one. And this one here, I've got some books here that look like this, but I'm going to change them up just a little bit because I don't have, or these ones are bigger, so I'm just going to make it work. Okay, so I've cut down the red book and then I've inked around it so it still had lines. And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and then line it up. And then I'm going to put that here. Oops, I think I made it crooked. So I'm going to put that there. Because with these minte papers, it's like their scenes are so pretty. So then I just kind of make the front part dimensional. by adding to them what's there. Okay, and then right here, the book is here, and I don't have a book that big, so I'm gonna put these two bouncy balls here. Or I think they're beach balls, but in my world they're gonna be bouncy balls, so I'm just gonna put them like that. And I'm just, it's like there's nothing here. Actually, you can see in his drawer, and there's another couple bouncy balls I can see right in there. But I'm just going to cover them up. He always keeps everything pretty neat, even, even though he's got toys. <laughs> he doesn't now, though, since we did the reno. It's like they ended up, we got him a whole little amwa with stuff in it. Okay, so that's it with the exception of enamel dots. And where did I lose those? I mean, this is pretty easy just because all the detail is already in the picture. And I'm going to use this blue that's in her pants because all the blues are really pale. And then the rest is like a sagey green. So I'm just going to bring in some more blues. So I think I'll bring some up here. Ah, can you hear that high-pitched noise? That's my furnace when it kicks on. I don't know. It's like the old one didn't do that. <laughs> but then again, the old one quit. So it's like, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, so I've got it in three places on this page. I'm just going to kind of work my way like I'm kind of going around it. So I'm going to put two over here. And then I'll put a couple down here. So that's good for that. Oh, and I, you know what? I forgot my title. But I think I'm going to put that on the first page since this is considered the second page in my layout. So I knew where I was putting everything except for the title. So let me see where I want to put that. Then get off the wax paper. Okay. I want to put it up here. down here. Mm, I think it's here. Okay, so I think I'm just going to kind of line it up so it's right on that wood 
and not overlap the cup. Let's see if I can do this. Okay. That wasn't too bad at all. Let me just adjust this E because I got that one going crooked. And get that S back in shape. So I brought in more red and more blue because he's got on red, she's got on blue. Well, she's got the little pink hat on, it's so adorable. I'll tell you, this kid, um, I think I have her in more hats <laughs> than any other kid. Maybe because she was born in November. Okay, so again, I'm just kind of working my way around with these to kind of, oh, kind of work my way through here. Bring your eye around. So I think I'll start one here. there and then I'm gonna put some down here we start there all right that was an easy one especially when the title went down good so there it is. I think you can see them both there together. So there's the best buds. And I will have close-ups at the end. I probably won't be um, doing a video tomorrow just because I'm going to go up and help my daughter. And I think I probably won't be back in time to get one done. So thank you for joining me. And so I won't see you tomorrow, but I'll see you the day after. Have a wonderful day, and thank you for hanging out with me. Bye-bye.